Back in 2020, I discovered a bull that came by one of my trail cameras late August, right after I shot this velvet. He was extremely characteristic. He seemed to be about the oldest bull I have ever captured on one of my trail cameras. And any old bull on any public land OTC unit, they don't come around very often and so that was already pretty awesome getting to see him come by my camera. This bull really intrigued me and little did I know he would create quite the story for me. Later in September, I even was able to get a glance at him chasing about 15 cows and screaming his head off. So this summer rolls around and I'm not checking cameras. I honestly had doubts about that old bull coming back, but to my surprise, he showed up. And even more surprisingly, a bull that I thought was regressing came back and blew up in a way I did not expect. I was incredibly excited to see this bull's return and decided right then and there, I was gonna make him my target bull. This is going to be one of the biggest challenges I've had as a hunter. Going after a bull that old and that seasoned is very difficult, especially on public land and a tag that a lot of people have. But this bull is something special to me, and this was a challenge I was very eager to start. Well, it is time. I am headed out on my archery elk hunt. It is September 1st. The season did start two days ago, but I had a lot to get done, um, and I am finally headed out. So, yep, the journey begins. Well, just getting settled in, in my humble abode, and I just heard an elk bugle, probably a couple miles from camp. That's a good start. Okay, we're off. We are headed out for the evening scout. Um, I got here a lot later than I was planning to, so I won't be able to do much hunting, but you never know. So, Kilchu Boy and I are headed up the mountain. Just headed to walk in for a bit. 
because it got really steep there for a second. Oh, it is here. Well, I found some elk. And I thought I brought my spotter, but I didn't. And I didn't even bring my binos because I was so rushed, I forgot to put them on. Yeah, it kind of sucks. But I'm looking at a group of about three. They're out in this little opening. I can't tell if it's bulls, cows. I can't tell. I just see little yellow bodies. But so I just get to sit here up on this ridge with my boy. And at least I know where some elk are. Just don't know if there's bulls with them. But yeah, no spotter or nothing, so. Considering I forgot my bino harness with my binos, my rangefinder, my elk calls, and my spotter, I didn't see a whole lot. I did hear two bugles this evening, so that was really fun. And considering it's really smoky out, there's actually color in the sky tonight, and I freaking love it. So, beautiful evening. He's feeling all crazy now because that temperature is dropping so but yeah not too bad of a first evening I know where I want to go in the morning <laughs> I'm sorry it's so bumpy well here I go forgetting to film my hunt but we got bulls all around and I am Trying to get into position for when the thermal change. I literally have two bulls, like on both sides of me, both screaming their guts out. So. My biggest issue is just pushing anything. Well, this morning was incredibly fun. I probably heard six or seven different bulls bugling. Um, really, really active this morning, just would not shut up. Um, I got about within a hundred yards of one bull, um, but I was just in that thick, thick stuff, so it was so hard getting close to that one hearing me, and I'm pretty sure I had like a few cows above me, uh, like really close, but they all started shutting up, so I'm not gonna mess around in there and and I think it's supposed to storm, so this evening might be really good too. Just made it back to camp at the right time. It's starting to rain and it's supposed to downpour real good here for an hour or two. And then it should be pretty light drizzle the rest of the day, which might make it really good this evening. She is coming! I swear. This happens to me every year. I come out here in a freaking lovely, super gnarly storm comes about. Here, Bella. Currently using my headlamp because it is that dark out. I am currently making some peak refuel, biscuits and gravy. I thought that was very fitting for right now since I haven't had breakfast and it's kind of chilly. So, got about like five minutes. But I'm really impatient right now. It got hot really fast. Whew, I'm sweating everything I have inside me out. But I'm almost to the top, so. I really do hate climbing. Just glassed up a bull bedded. It's a smaller one I've been hearing. The bigger one is below them. They're all just bedded right now. They're not moving. Just bugling out of their beds. A very decent first day, full day, um, minus the storm, which was long 
and loud, but it is now leaving and the rest of the week should be pretty good. So the elk were also talking good tonight, just not as much as this morning. So hopefully they'll be quite active in the morning. Well, I had a late start to the morning due to it continuing to rain. It rained all freaking night. Um, it's foggy this morning. Bulls are still freaking talking. So I'm gonna try and get as close as I can. Also rocking the GoPro today. Just in case I have a bull walk in on me, you know? Saturday, so I've heard like two different people bugle, and the elk have been absolutely quiet today. Just got some dinner.
what to say. I could have really used two people tonight. Or me and another person. I know Joe had my blind bull in probably 30 yards. I started a sequence of a bull and some cows and he got all fired up and came in, but it was so thick. Um, so I shut up to see if he'd come in, but he keeps screaming. And then when nothing responded after like five, six minutes, he left and I tried calling him back in and he just kind of kept going, so if I would have had somebody call him below me, I think I could have killed him tonight. It's so cool though, like, I did your sign him. Same exact bugle. Oh, I know he's in here now. Makes me happy. Later that night, I would come to find out that my target bull, which I decided to name Callisto, appeared on several of my cameras. The chances of him walking by one of my cameras was very low, as I only had two on that whole mountain. So I was pretty dang excited to see that he appeared on them. a pretty exciting morning. Um, I was right in between two bulls just going at it. The one above me ended up catching my wind and then the bottom one basically came right to me but then the wind just got even worse and he winded me. Um, but I was probably within 50, 50 yards of both of them at one point or another. Um, yeah they're screaming pretty good this morning because of the precipitation so shouldn't last very long and I bet they'll pick up once this stops. But yeah, they're starting to get a little more talkative, which has been really nice, so. Look at how much they're bending. This is gonna be a gnarly storm tonight. Like, it's gonna hit hard and bad and trees are gonna be falling all over the place. Ooh, just hopefully no trees fall on me.
six to ten cows. And I had a cow pinned at me for tw like she was twenty yards and she had me pinned. But I stood still enough and she she kinda kept looking away and a little calf spooked. Um and so a lot of the cows actually moved below the bull, which was good. <laughs> the bull didn't really give a crap. shoot him. I could see him, but I couldn't shoot him because he was petted down. And I couldn't, I just, there's no way I would have made, made that shot. Um, so I waited for him to stand up. And sure enough, he stands up and I drop back on him. And I let it go. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure he's dead right over here. Because I heard all his cows go downhill and I heard Ruckus stay right here, kind of thrown around. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> wow. Also, This is the bull that I think it is. I'm, I'm gonna freaking cry. Like, I already cried already, but. Like, I'm pretty sure I can smell him dead. I keep getting, like, really big whiffs of a, a, of a ruddy bull, but. I just wanna be safe. I just. I don't wanna push it. <clears throat> even though I'm being extremely impatient right now. Um, man, the first time I saw that bull in my camera. Something about him. I, I'm pretty sure it was him. I can only see his back ends. And they looked pretty similar. Man, I like. I cannot believe I snuck into this bull, the bedded bull with his however many cows, in this thick stuff. Oh man, I am praying so hard right now that he's dead. I am praying so, so hard. <laughs> blind bull. Just blind in that eye. Wow. I am at a loss for words right now. This is the bull that I decided I want to go after and I got him. Check out 
patty right now and then take an extra meat off his neck and everything. So starting a little toasty, but we're getting there. Got my posse. Luckily these guys came to save my butt on a really big bowl. So <laughs> it's gonna be fun packing it out, isn't it? situated put what I could in the cooler um still have a little bit hanging up and then gotta throw him in here in my tiny little bed somewhere so I'm officially heading out of out camp with a beautiful beautiful bowl in the bed of my little truck I am so grateful right now that it turned out the way it did it was Definitely not what I was expecting, but I am absolutely happy with it. So, now I guess the rest of September, I'm gonna go guide and do more elk hunting. Just keep doing what I 